The question, how do I cope with fibromyalgia? How do I cope with fibromyalgia? Three things really help me. Prioritizing and pacing. Decide which things really matter, and which you can delegate or let go. You will have to budget your energy and plan your activities wisely. Build rests into your day and week. If you have a large, grocery shopping trip planned for Tuesday, you may need to build in a slow Monday to save up some energy, and you might also need to plan for a Wednesday with more soreness and fatigue. You'll learn your own patterns as you go. Routines and writing things down. Memory and cognitive problems are common. Chronic pain hogs bandwidth, causing the dreaded brain fog, aka the fibro stupids. Free up mental space by doing daily activities in a certain order, so they can be relegated to autopilot, instead of wasting precious mental energy having to think about them. Same goes for keeping lists, calendars, phone reminders, etc. You can save a lot of mental energy by relying on pen and paper to remember things you used to make a mental note of. Thinking uses a remarkable amount of energy. The less mental energy I use on remembering stuff I need to do, the more I have to help my kids with homework. Respect your body's need for rest. You may have insomnia at night, but it's important to go to bed anyway. Not reading, or watching TV when you can't sleep. Resting. Eyes closed, body still. This will take practice, as insomnia can be frustrating, but it's important. Take short naps during the day, too, when you need them. This is a case of putting on your own oxygen mask before you assist others with theirs. Ask for help when you need it. Hard to do, but necessary. Use the scooters at the store when it's a low energy, high pain level day. That's what they're there for. Learn to be okay with things not being perfect, and remember it's okay to grieve for the loss of your former life. Remember, your poor body is doing the best it can. Wasting energy being angry and resentful of it won't help. This part, acceptance, has been the hardest for me. I've been living with this disease for more than a quarter of a century. It's still a struggle every day, but it's possible to have a good and happy life with this condition. Check out the link below for a guide on long-term remission or to join in with the community.